Now the fun stuff, fill factor. <laughs> um, so fill factor, or you might see that as FF, is a parameter that determines the maximum power from a solar cell. It is the ratio of the maximum power from a solar cell to the product of the VOC and the ISC. So it is your IMP times VMP. So you multiply that, you get this nice gold rectangle. Then you multiply your ISC to your VOC and that gives you your nice green rectangle. So it's just the ratio of your gold rectangle to your green rectangle. And that is your fill factor. So your fill factor is the measure of quote unquote squareness of the solar cell and is also the area of the largest rectangle which will fit into the IV curve. The fill factor really depends on module technology and design. It's just the quickest way to flag which strings may have problematic module or multiple modules. The best fill factor for a solar cell is one that has about 75% to 85%, but a good minimum is 70%, but just really depends on the module that you have. So let's see what the fill factor is for the module data sheet that we were just looking at before. So analyzing the data sheet will give us a good baseline to compare your fill factor results to. So here we have our IMP of 13.27, which we have here. Multiply that by your VMP, which is 40.70. And then we divide that by our ISC, which is 13.85, multiplied by our VOC, which is 49.42. And that gets us a 78.9%. And looking at the data sheet, uh, it says that it has about a 3% tolerance for power. So when you take that power tolerance at 3% on the top half, so what I did is I um, took the results of this and then subtracted about 3% and then added 3% and then found what the range is here. That gives us about a 76.5% to an 81.2% range in an ideal situation. But, you know, perhaps you want a little bit more wiggle room to consider equipment tolerances and other factors. So let's just say an additional 5% just right off the top. So just to make our math a little bit easier. So before considering the 3% of power tolerance on the top side, that lower half was 76.5%. So if we just subtract 5%, that gives us a 71.5% minimum, which is a really good start. But, you know, if you just want to make your life a little bit easier, I just recommend a 70% minimum. It's just a really good reference point when checking for significant issues. So you could do the math. You could just try to figure out, okay, what's my baseline here? Or you could just say, hey, I'm just trying to find any major problematic issues to begin with. Let's just use 70% as an indication that there is an issue if it's lower than that. <laughs> 